Hey guys, welcome to another video of Swivel's Garage. Today we're doing a little something different. Spark plugs in my wife's car. While it's apart, we're gonna paint the intake almost to match the car, but it's not gonna be perfect. It's the only color I have in my chip deck that's close. So we're gonna get the intake off now because you have to do the plugs anyway. I might do the up pipes also, I haven't decided. So let's get the camera set up. I'll rip the intake off and show you guys how to do it. Here's a little before. It looks just like an Ultima in my opinion. I already did take the bolts out for that plastic cover. As you'll see, I'll just lift it off. But it is just four Allen heads in the four corners. So I'm gonna just lift it off. It's just plastic cover. So we'll set that aside. Because I think I'm gonna paint something on there also. I did loosen the hose clamps on the boots already. That's just a flathead. So now I'm going to take the 10 millimeter bolts out of here for the brackets. Looks like it's for vacuum lines. So I'll take them off. Not much room, might have to take the thing off, but get those out of the way. See if there's something in the back. This is my first time, so we're doing it together. Looks like there's a crossover tube in the back. We'll leave that on. Unplug this little sensor here. Take that off. We're gonna need a pliers to take all these hoses off for the vacuum lines. They're kind of everywhere. So I'm gonna grab a needle nose clip. There's one in the front, one in the back, on the sides. Plug-in's gone. Gonna need a little tool for that. There's a little clip here in the back. You gotta push in the center, lift up to release the thing like that. And the wiring harness will lift off. A little clip here. Try that out. And it looks like that's it for this side. While we're over here, I might be able to reach this vacuum line with the pliers. Yep. So get that one off. I think that's it for over here. So unplug the throttle body before we forget that. Now for this side. I'm gonna switch this camera over here like this. Try that. Yeah, these things aren't very Good looking under the hood, unless you put a lot of money into it. Factory like this one is. This just has a tune in. Exhaust, down, I think, intercooler pipes, I don't know. But if you don't have an aftermarket intake and stuff, they look stupid. Man, that's tight. Holy cow. There's all those. That's off. Get that off. I think we're ready to lift. So there's a one over here with a zip tie on it. Just break the zip tie off like that. Pull that off. Now let's see if intake will come off. 
Intakes are all 10 millimeters. I'm looking as, at the bolts as I pull them out to make sure they're all the same length. So far they have been. All the same length on this car anyway. It is loose, so now I should be able to lift and pull these holes off. Or the up pipes. It's still tight for some reason. Man, there we go. Now it should come off, I think. Oh yeah, this thing has to get around it like that. Like that, boys. That wasn't so bad. Now I'm gonna get some tape. We're gonna throw it over the intake holes so nothing falls in. And then uh, I think I'm gonna take these pipes off too and paint these too. So let me uh, tape that up and I'll be right back. All right, got that all taped up. Now I'll take these rubbers off while it's in the car since. Well, they came off easier than I thought. Do both sides. Remember to take pictures before and after if you don't work on cars a lot and don't think you'll remember stuff. Taking a bunch of pictures never hurts anybody. You can always delete them if you don't need them when you're done. But it doesn't hurt anyone to take them before, just to be sure. This one loose. Take that off. Plug in. I should get my tool for that. Now all the rubber hoses are gonna be kind of a bugger to start to get off because they, depends how long they've been on. So. Like that. Man. There's that. Might be able to pry that out with a screwdriver. I do have a tool for this, but I don't feel like getting up. Go and get it. There's that. So that was easy too. Same thing on this side. Then we can get these things painted. I'm trying to get this done before I go home in an hour. So. like that. Pop this off and we can start painting. Booyah. There's that. Now I'm going to get these sanded and then I'll show you painting them. Got them all off and stripped. So now we're going to scuff them quick. I'm just going to use a red scotch bright and then uh, we're going to paint it. So I seal it and spray it and it should last quite a while unless you blow dry your engine really close 
then it might not because this is kind of textured so paint will like stick in the first place but should look pretty good so i'm going to start taping this off all these little nipples and stuff i'm going to tape off and then uh spray it just got them all sprayed it turned out awesome it's really texturing because i didn't take the texture out of the plastic i don't really i don't care that much did the nissan logo Looks minty, dude. I should have brought the light in here. The camera looks way darker than it actually is. It's a lot lighter than what it shows. But there she is. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. It's a little later than I want to be here right now. So I'm gonna head home. Hopefully the spark plugs come. And then uh, I'll put it back together. All right, you guys seen the intake is painted. So we're going to start doing the spark plugs. Uh, you guys see me pull the intake off, that's how you start. Obviously you don't have to paint your intake, but while it's off, you might as well if you want to. So you just take the 10 millimeter bolt out, lift up on the coil. I got a little suction to them from the seals. Take the clip off, there's the coil. Take your extension, spark plug socket, I should say. Huh, they look a lot smaller than most. It's not a 5 ace, it's smaller, which is really weird. So I'm gonna see if I have a socket. Okay on the sack that fits if you don't work on gtrs like me you'll shake your head i don't know they're 9 16 for a size so that's kind of weird to begin with once i get this out i'll show you something else too that's weird people are afraid to work on these just because they're expensive but they're just like any other car once you dig into them I have a magnet since we don't have a rubber 916 socket, so let's use that to get it out. See if I get all the threads out first. There we go. And there it is. But here's the plugs that we're pulling out. I'll show you here. You can see it kind of looks like a regular spark plug. But look at the ones that she bought for it that were recommended. Look at that. Look at that. It's crazy. So do not drop these ones. I'm going to probably use the magnet to slide it back down so I don't even drop it that little bit. I'm going to try turning it a little bit so it'll catch. Like that. Definitely start these by hand. I know some people think hitting the button on impact lightly is okay. Do not do that. So there is your first one. I might look up the torque spec on these just cause I don't want to damage any threads. So we're just gonna barely put them on right now. And once I get all of them done, we'll go torque spec them all. I want to put the coils up here in order one two three and then one two three so i'm going to get to doing this and uh once i get done with it i'll show you guys and tell you the torque spec so let's knock this off quick found the torque spec they said 20 newton meters if you cross that to inch pounds it's 177 which is about 14 foot pounds so I don't know if that sounds tight or not, but. Pretty tight. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do tight or whatever. That feels pretty tight to me. Well, that one worked. Maybe I just didn't have this one screwed in as far. There we go. Yeah, so 177. 
inch pounds. And try not to go slow, kind of move the torque wrench consistently so it's good. It's a good reading. And there we go. Kind of stressful because the torque wrenches are a little longer than your normal wrench that you're used to, so it feels like you're really cranking on them. Uh, but that's what it is 20 newton meters or 177 <coughs> inch pounds. I don't know if you guys can see the sides. <coughs> I lined up the coils. So I'm going to put them in the exact order that they were in. It's not something that you absolutely have to do. I was just taught that when I was younger, and I've always done it since from my dad. Make sure you hear that clip when you put the coils back on. And then start the bolt by hand so you don't cross-thread the aluminum. Takes a little longer, but it's worth it in the end. Like I said, if you guys have never done this, this is my first time doing it on a GTR and it wasn't that bad. So if you're mechanically inclined at all, you can tackle the job pretty easy. Uh, just remember it's a 9 16th socket instead of a 5 8 for a spark plug socket, which is really weird size to me. I've never had one like that. So I don't know if they make a spark plug socket 9 16 they must, but if you don't have one, just do what I did. Don't drop them in there, just use the magnet, lower them slow, and then put your finger in there and drop it the last tiny bit so you don't hurt the little electrodes. And then here's one side that's pretty much done. All the coils sit at different angles too, it's kind of weird. There's those. That one. That one. All the coils are back in on this side. And then another thing that I haven't told you guys, you gotta take these two nuts off right here for this little hose. They're 10 millimeter also, just so you can get the coils out, otherwise it's in the way. And there's also these little Christmas tree clip things that I use this tool for. But you can use a screwdriver if you're careful, it's just harder. And there's that side. So I'm gonna wrap the other side up and then I'll get back to you guys. There's the final result, guys. Got it all back together. There's a lot of stuff on these stupid things. But got it done. Turned out pretty sweet. It'll definitely look better at the car show now. Uh, the paint changes a lot where the wrap kind of stays the same. It'll match better outside, trust me. But you can see with the angle, it even gets closer. But and the sun will match good. It's hard to match a wrap, but that's that. I'm going to show you guys the spark plugs. They all look pretty good to me. The old ones, that is. So, just see what you guys think. Tell me in the comments. But they all look pretty good to me. They got like 40, I don't know, 20,000 miles on them. They're all the same, which is really good. So, but there's the plugs let me know what you guys think it's on the 85 
I think they all look really good. So hopefully these plugs work a little better. These ones, these ones were fine. This is the old number for you GTR guys. And then here's the new ones. Tell me which ones you guys recommend and why. Our buddy in locally recommended these. He says that the the diodes fall off of these or burn off of them. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. And uh, that's going to wrap up this video. Pretty short, quick little video. How to. And uh, I threw the paint in there as a little extra. But turned out pretty good. We're going to go to Ice Cream Cruise tomorrow with the car. So you guys will see it in Omaha, Nebraska. If you guys are local and you're going to go to the show. It's kind of why I painted the intake last minute. Kind of give it a little bit more emphasis to the build but pretty stock build it's an alpha 7 package basic so full bolt on z85 it's pretty quick but when you do a build like that it looks pretty boring under the hood but that's going to conclude this episode thanks for watching see you on the next one